This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. All right, welcome to the Pete and Sebastian Show. Back for another edition. Um, um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> are you are you doing like a like a t-shirt vibe now? Is this like a, your summer look? Is this is the second <laughs> show you've you've worn like a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's summertime. It gets hot up where I'm doing it. You you know you, it's like you're wearing a white sweatshirt for the second show in a row minus the the, <laughs> the strawberry so hamburger what is that a hamburg- hamburger hamburger <laughs> is that your thing now white sweatshirts with food on them <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're no, so Hollywood a... too everything you wear looks brand new always it looks <laughs> brand new. <laughs> I've never seen anything in you where I'm like oh that must be his favorite shirt or his favorite you know. <laughs> Brand new, done. No, actually, this is a shirt. I've never worn this before. I just, I saw yeah. it. It's uh, it's Irv's Burgers. It's a big um, it's a uh, institution out here in uh, L.A. It's a burger joint. Um, I want to get into this, and I I, I want to be sensitive to what we're gonna watch. Okay. Uh, oh. Some might think this is funny. Some might think this is sad. Some might think this is what have you. All right. I don't I don't want to focus on the main point of the video. I want to focus on something that maybe other people didn't see in the video. And uh, my apologies to the listening and viewing audience here. It, this might be a little dated since we don't know when this is going to air. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you bank your shows and they're not current, what have you. We just... Uh, to, to give you an idea of what we're doing here at the Pete and Sebastian show, we do two shows a week uh, in one day. So however that plays out in the in, in the release of these, you know, it, it could be two weeks old. This could be three weeks old. Actually, this happened, right. I think, last week, but we're bringing it up on the show this week. Regardless, we, we want to discuss, or at least I want to discuss, something that I saw in the video that maybe other people didn't see. Now... The video yeah. is that of President Biden falling. Oh, uh, I don't know if you... Fun. Nice. <laughs> you don't know if I saw it. We didn't fucking die. I saw it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, <coughs> obviously, some, some people might take this as like, you know, President of the United States, he's falling, whatnot. I look at it as yeah. a man who is, uh, you know... Nearly, you know, what, four years old? How old is the president? 80? 80, 80 years old? 80 or 80, 81 or 80? Definitely okay. at least 80. Yeah. Okay. Older man. He's older, getting than, up th- older than I think I'll ever live to. Let's put it oh. that way. That's what our president is. <laughs> well, basically yeah. on how our body is, how our bodies are progressing at the ages of, you know, you know, in our, in our yeah. early fifties, um, we might be falling around 55, 56, right? That's right. right. <laughs> but this right. guy uh, up in age, and you know, you, you <laughs> lose your balance. <laughs> you lose your balance. You fall when you get older, right? right. But I want to, I want to, I want to focus on something else in the video. And for those of you that haven't seen the video, we're gonna have to play a little bit of it. And where I, I wanna, I wanna like almost review this tape like the Zab- Zab- what is it the Zabruder uh Zabruder is that the guy's name Zabruder uh tapes Zabruder tapes that, that I don't when know Kennedy I know what got, you're talking about when, when yeah. Kennedy got shot like they rewind it and they rewind it I want I, I might want to do this here and I don't know if we even have the capability on YouTube to kind of frame by frame it but <clears throat> I want to play the video and I want the viewers to pay attention to the secret service agent who flies out of his chair to help the president back to his chair. But what I want the viewer to concentrate on is the facial expressions of the secret service agent. All right. And and that's what I want you to focus on. And I want your take on the facial expressions of the agent and I want to get your take. What, 
what he's thinking, what he's feeling as he's watching okay. what's unfolding in front of him. Okay, here we go. We need sound here, Patrick. Yeah, we got it. Okay, here we go. He's got sunglasses on. You're going to see him in the background spring out of his chair. Here he goes. Hold on. He's coming. Wait, we're... There he is. We got the sunglasses, all right? Mm-hmm. And then look at his face. Wing, 10 shot. Mr. President, thank you for joining us today. Can't really see that well. Okay, there, there, there. there, 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 there. You just, yeah. Okay, that, that alone right there. Is he right, going... Right. What what's the thought there? And, and and by the way, take a look at the take a look at the rest of the people in the stands there. Some of them smirking, some of them smiling. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a there's a guy here who's a decorated looks like a decorated uh, serviceman here with he's got he's got his his left lapel is drenched in metals, <laughs> right? right? And, and the guy with his hands a, together. Yeah, he, he uh, even yeah. looks like he's like oh, Jesus. Okay. The, the Secret Service agent, g- g- give me give me a take on his thoughts. Uh, just that 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 look alone. What 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 what's your take? I I you know it's like <laughs> some of them I can't tell if they're smiling because they didn't really see what's happening and it's just the ceremony. But the other part of it is I feel like. The guy's got that smile like if you were with your father and he tripped and they, and you're smiling going, we all have dads, you know, like that. That's that's what I feel like. I mean, do you feel like w- w- what you take? You think they're like mocking him? Like, nah, it, let me give you a broader scope of uh, of what I'm feeling here. And I want to I want to get your your feelings on this. Anybody falling. <laughs> Like, let's say me and you are walking down the hallway at a hotel, me and you, and you trip yeah. and fall, right? My first reaction to that is laughter. Yeah. When it's you always see, funny. no one's you, hurt. <laughs> if you saw me trip and fall, would the first thing out of your, your mouth be laughter? That would be sort of a, <laughs> you're all right, man. And then once you are all right, more laughter. Yeah. Okay. All right. But it's like, it's 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 funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If your mom trips and falls, it's right. not funny. Right? No, exactly. Yes. Okay. It's not funny because A, it's your mom, and B, she's of the age where if she does trip and fall, Possible hip broken, knee broken, head trauma. There's a lot more variables. Right. That that doesn't make it funny. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm putting myself in the shoes of the Secret Service guy, right? His job is to protect the president, right? Now, president goes down like that. Do you think the secret serviceman has to like process. Okay, was that a trip or f- and fall, or did somebody in the crowd shoot something at him? Did he, you know, like he, he, you know, like he's got to like. Oh right, right. He's got to like distinguish whether or not was this a, an assassination attempt or did he trip and right. fall? Right. That, that's, did he that's get hit got... in the neck with a poison bullet that makes no noise? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's got to process right. that. So once he does get up and f- assess, and the president says, ah, there's something there, the stage is screwed up or whatnot. And yeah. If we could go back to the video, right? Yeah. Yeah. We go back to the video, and there's another, there's another facial expression. Yeah. Do you think this, do you think this facial expression is he's looking back at the floor? Going, yeah, the stage is uneven. <laughs> Gotta fix that shit, right? You think it's that? Uh, right. Oh, or do you think it's like, Jesus Christ, I thought fucking something happened. 
and this guy fell? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's that fake smile. Like this is fucking ridiculous. I'm supposed to protect this guy, and he trips over a fucking sandbag. You know, like this whole—that's what I think. The whole thing is uh, okay. ridiculous Cause, to him. Because I see this smirk again, and if we could go back when we first see the guy in the dark sunglasses, there's as a help up, and as as it's a little forward here. Okay, here we even see it again sitting down. He's like, eh, the fuck, really? Yeah, there oh, he yeah, is. Oh, no, yeah, like... no, 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 here. He's getting up. This is when he's getting up, right? And he yeah. notices the president's down, okay? <laughs> now, okay, now he, he's in action. You're going to see this smirk again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Up, okay, up. You're going to see it. Hold on, let's. Right there. <laughs> so we see this like puckered lip, like I'm trying to find out what this guy is thinking in these yeah. two mom these two moments. And I and I was asking you for your assistance. And now I'm actually seeing this woman smile here off to the right. Do you think some people are laughing at what's going on and this turning that laughter into a smile as the president sits down. <clears throat> There's a lot going on here, bro. Yeah, I think I think it's all that fake smile like uh you, you know like when a when a couple's fighting in a restaurant and they don't <laughs> want anyone to think they're smiling at fighting yeah, so yeah. they just smile. Like I feel like everyone yeah, I don't think they're laughing at him. I just think they're all trying to Pretend it's no big deal that this guy is so old that he tripped over a sandbag. Dude, God. and I know you saw it. The, the really sad part was that the try to get up and give up and go back down. That was, the, that was right there. Oh, no, I didn't even see that. I didn't see that. There, oh, there was watch it. My draft here. I'm going to get up. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm 80. Boom. <laughs> 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 I mean, listen, I don't mean to laugh at the president, but... This guy is too old to be doing all this, and there's like there's a certain amount of narcissism for him to even be running again. It's ridiculous. So. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets, inspired by NASA. Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Using silver-infused fabrics originally inspired by NASA, Miracle-Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you get better sleep every night. I mean, these sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of the bacteria growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross order odors. Pete, I know you're burning up at night. What do you think of Miracle Sheet? Well, I'm telling you, we honestly have them. They're fantastic. And even when you wash them, they just get softer and even more comfortable. Miracle Sheets are luxuriously comfortable. I'm not kidding. Without the high price tag of other luxury brands, and they feel as nice, if not nicer, than bed sheets used by some of these five-star hotels. So stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to TryMiracle.com slash the cast to try Miracle made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code, the cast at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, which you will be, you'll get a full refund. It doesn't get any better than that, right, Sebastian? I mean, what a deal. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to TryMiracle.com slash TheCast and use the code TheCast to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's TryMiracle.com slash TheCast to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> You know, bro. I mean, I'm 49. I, I've actually pulled that move where I I was gonna get up and and go. Ah, wait a minute. Hold on. Let, let me regroup here. 
I mean, I, God, God no. Here, hold on, one second. It, it, this guy don't even know what the hell just happened. This guy walking towards us is smiling, has no idea what's going on behind him, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, no. I, and then, and then people were were like stunned a little bit or cheering or what have you. And I think this guy walking towards us, I think he thought people were kind of like maybe tra- play this in full. I want to see his reaction as he leaves, right? He leaves, has no idea what's about to happen, right? He's going right. back to his seat. He just got to go, hey, 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 salute, yes. Oh, and now, <laughs> down. Now, now we, we, we lost it there. Go back. Just just play it out. Just play it out full. We don't, we don't need to pause it. I just want to see what this guy looks like throughout the whole thing. Gives his salute. Oh, he thinks it's for him. Now, let me bring up another point. We, we could we could scrap the video. You're the president. You fall like that. Do you get back on the microphone and go? Do you try and make light of that? Right. Or do you just go back to your seat and go, eh, I fell again. What the hell am I going to do? I think. If he went back up and go, can you believe this? Can you believe this? You know, I, I don't know what what the what the comment is after that, but yeah. I, I gotta I gotta I gotta believe if you trip and fall and there's a microphone nearby, you gotta address that somehow. No, I listen. I agree up until a certain age, and then you reach a certain age where it's everything you said. Now it's serious. I mean, if you look, he can't even catch himself, right? My my question is, if you looked at the tape. How old do you think he still catches? He still doesn't fall there because that, like my mom, funny my my you brought my mom she earlier, like um, saw her about two weeks ago, and she fell, and she lives in this facility. She presses a button, and somebody comes and helps her back up. But she goes, when you get to be older, she goes, you fall so slow, like you see it coming, you just can't do anything about it. Here we go, and that's what he did in there. Like, I felt like even if he was 65, that's a whole fucking sandbag, you know, sidestep right out of there. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> you're, ask, you're asking me when is it too old where you can't even catch yourself anymore? Yeah, like how old do you think? He's 80 now or 81. How old mm-hmm. do you think uh, he would have, th- same trip there, but he wouldn't have fallen. He would have like just caught himself before he fell. I'll tell you what. I'm 49. I went for a hike for the first time this weekend in a long time, and I was wearing yeah. that that boot I was telling you about. I was wearing that yeah. boot on the hike, and I rolled my ankle on, on on that boot at least six times just because I'm not used to wearing that boot on a hike. And I've I caught myself every time I rolled my ankle. But right. I tell you what. <sighs> A trip and fall at 49 is completely different than it was at 25. I'll tell you that much. Right. At 20, at 25, it was almost in stride. Like, oh, and then, hey, hey. You know, like, there was no, there was no um, uh, damage or or uh, problem to the body after at 25, a trip and fall. Might not even... I might not even see you trip and fall 25 because you're back up so quick. No big deal. Not a yeah. second thought. Yeah, you, you don't almost have to ask. Did you Did you just, did you just right. trip? Yeah, no. Nah, uh, I'm even back there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you roll your All ankle right. at 40. You roll your ankle at 49. Yeah. It's, a ty- it's the type of movement where other people that are coming towards you right. kind of go, oh, are you okay? You know, like you're getting the are you okay's, even though you didn't fall. Just yeah. the way the the body moves is is such an indicator <laughs> of there could be a broken ankle, a tendon, right. something snapped. I notice I got a lot of are you okay's. <laughs> right. Yeah, I totally. And then and then at forty nine you're also at that age where you after you do catch yourself and you're like, I am okay. You ever think about the things that you would have had to cancel or miss if you did fall? Like, oh, God, what that thing? Fucking thing. Oh, 
it would have been a scheduling nightmare, you know? So <laughs> so now at 80, I think at 80, falling is so severe because you're so old. You're also too old now. You're too old to catch yourself, and you're too old to get up and grab the mic and do a joke about it. I mean, you're fucking old. Everything is shot. Your personality, <laughs> your knees, your body, everything. <laughs> yeah. And what do you say at 80 if you did trip? You get back up to the mic and go, uh, you know, I probably broke a rib, folks. I got to go to the hospital. But uh, who, whoever put that sandbag there, you're fired. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's. I don't know. I don't what know. I'm making fun of is put, putting yourself out there at that age. You shouldn't. You're done, guy. You're done. When you got that problem's know. going on. I don't, know how to, I don't know how the man's doing it. To be honest with you, at at eighty, right, and, and I know my own father. Well, he's not. Right? He's... <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> he's literally not. He doesn't talk to us. Nothing, dude. You get a wave from a helicopter, like you, you know, as your grandpa's going inside to watch uh, Jeopardy before bed. I mean, I, you know. at this at at this age, at, at eighty, right, like to be putting on a suit and a tie. Don't you get out of bed? Don't you just get out of bed and go? Doesn't he call someone and go? I'm tired today. I, <laughs> you know, like, like if you're the president of the United States and you're 81 years old, yeah. can't you just get up and go, guys? Uh, you do it. I mean, <laughs> that's what I. That's it. That's it. I'm listening to the experts, man. I'm listening to the experts. You guys tell me about what we should do. That's what we're doing. We're good. We're going. Yeah. I'm yeah, right just, there just, with you. I just say, listen, I'm going to prop myself up in bed today. Just come in. We'll talk about whatever, national security. You want to talk about the, you know, the, the homeless issue. You want to talk about you know <laughs> what, whatever it is. I'm just going to be right. doing it from bed. <laughs> <laughs> I I with the suit. Getting on the airplane. You get that for 81 years old getting on the airplane. It's like, hey, my dad's 77. He's like, Jesus Christ, to get on the airplane now <laughs> is not the see. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. They're just propping this guy up, man. Weekend at Bernie's. And on top of that, <laughs> at, at 80, what do you care about? Like, if I was 80 years old and you go, sir, if we don't do something 10 years from now, 10 years from now, guy, if I could be here Wednesday, the fuck do I care 10 years from now, right? Like now, of course he doesn't mind going electric because he had he drove around in your blue Cadillac for 79 years. So great. Now you're too old to drive. Now you don't give a shit about everyone else. Who wants. That's why the president should be in his prime. So if he says, like, no more of this or no more of that, he's got to live with the consequences of that for the next 30, 40 years as well. That's what I'm saying, bro. Or and, she. And, and, or she. We talked about the Pope. You know, the Pope being old. Every Pope is kind of like an older gentleman, right? Yeah, yeah. I know there's a, a prerequisite as far as age to be the president. I believe it's 35 years old, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. It's 35 years old. It's a minimum age you have to be to be the president. Right. I think, though, what, do you, what, what you take on this? We cap it at... After seventy, you can't you yeah. can't run, or after seventy five. Yeah. What what what's the cutoff, or should there be one? I, on I the like the idea of I like the idea of a cutoff, not so much because I, I you know some people still show up at eighty and some aren't. I'm not denying that in any capacity. I just feel like you should have to live with the consequences of your choices like you know what i'm saying it's so like i said it's just so easy at 80 years old to, to 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 do something that you're not gonna be around to live to see how it plays out whereas like everything old president obama did look at look at how many more years this guy has to knock on wood for himself to be around he's yeah, responsible yeah. for the choices he made i think that's phenomenal you know and yeah. it just it's a good look you know obama walking into the gym and just draining a three-pointer before they want to give it a pre press conference. It's just a good look, dude. You know? This is I like just, you're right, yelling at something. sandbags and shit. <laughs> Point that out. <laughs> Fucking guy. With HelloFresh, 
you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. How fantastic is that, people? Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. This summer, spend less time meal planning and prepping with HelloFresh pre-portioned ingredients that make it easy to get cooking quick. No matter your lifestyle, you always find delicious recipes on HelloFresh's menu like pescatarian and veggie. You could even swap proteins and sides to make the recipe just how you like it. Right, Pete? Oh, man, it's unbelievable. Jackie and I have actually gotten this. We went with a nice chicken salad meal. It was perfect. And now Green Chef and Every Plate, uh, they're both owned by HelloFresh. And with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I personally love switching between the brands, and now you can enjoy both brands at a discount. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash TheCast16 and use code TheCast16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Oh, man, how great is that? HelloFresh.com, TheCast16, and use the code 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, there is something really cool about your president coming off a pick and and and, and draining a fucking 22-foot jumper from the free throw line. It, it's, yeah. it, there's something, you know, like, I don't know, I just, you know, the, even Kennedy, you know, he had Young, and he, he, I don't know how you feel about this. Yeah. And we talked a little bit about this one with Putin you know, riding a horse shirtless, but something about president. Like, how do you feel about a president and seeing him in his bathing suit on the beach with his family? Is does that take away from the presidency and the power if he's got his shirt off? Can we look to see if Obama was ever photographed shirtless during his uh, office years? During his office years, and because I know Kennedy was Kennedy was you know at the or where, where, where yeah. the where Bunkport what was it Kenny Bunkport is that where yeah. they all go or that's where Kennedy was going? See if we could get a Kennedy shirtless and Obama shirt. Here we go. Okay, now yeah, I, I mean listen, that was while he was president. It, wow, he's that definitely seems, young. Seems, he's definitely young here. Very Does he dangerous. have a detached bicep? Is his bicep all right? He looks like he's got a hole. All um, the right, damn maybe. But I don't know so, something about something about. Uh, do we have Kennedy? See if we got Kennedy. What do you think about an in shape president? I mean, Obama. Obama there looks like you know he he's not as in shape as he probably is now. He looks better now, I think. But right. what do you think about a president ripping his shirt off and he looks like, you know, Brad Pitt in Fight Club? Are, are you in? Uh, here, we got another. Here. No. Is it? <clears throat> That's something about, it, like, a eh, fucking man. Like, yeah. no? I, are we, are nah, we into I, this look or no? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into my uh, presidents in uh, any kind of leisure capacity. So I you feel like president. you need a president just to be in a suit. And I, that's, that's it. I like that suit, or I don't see you suit, or I don't. I mean, I don't mind if I get the occasional shot of you on a golf course or jogging with your Secret Service, or, or you know, even on a boating expedition. But I don't want to see you in a bathing suit. I don't want to see you that comfortable. I want to see you looking like you're probably doing business at any second. You know what I'm saying? All right, what, what, what's what's your take, take on this? What's your take on this? You bring up a great point in the jogging. Right? You're president of the United States. You want to go out for a jog. And, and uh, say you're in New York. You want to go in Central Park. <sighs> Do you go uh, bring the whole... Do you think you got... you? Do you think you have the authority to tell Secret Service? I know we normally go with ten. Yeah, I want to go with three. I, you know, I don't, 
I don't want to draw that much attention. Or do you think he could go, I just want to go by myself today? Oh, man. Do you think he's allowed to do that? No. I, I think on some level you become property of the government, and, like, le like legally you can't do it. Because, like, I'm right there with you. If I was president, I'd be like, look, can't we just slap a beard on me? Give me some sunglasses. <laughs> I go out the back door with Tommy, and we go for a light jog. No one's going to, you know? Like, I hear you, but I guess you can't do that kind of thing. I just, just like to get everybody together to go get do a jog. Do you think the president gets up in the morning, say it's 7 o'clock, and then he's like, you know what, I'm going to go for a jog. Do you think, how fast does that happen where, and did the secret, can we get the president jogging with Secret Service? I want to see if Secret Service is in suits jogging or are they in athletic wear i just want to know what the turnaround is for a right. president to say i want to jog and everybody getting together and doing that or does that got to be planned the night before right is there right. any spontaneity in this guy's life that's what i'm trying to figure out right well that sounds like that's interesting that sounds like you don't want to have the route the night before i know he used to like obama used to go play hoops in a gym so but like to go jogging that's like, that's like a parade through town, man. You could have someone jump out of the bushes with a bazooka at any given moment. I mean, shit. Seems, well, seems too dangerous. You... Here, 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 here we have it. Okay, here's Bush here running. Is oh, that the... right on a road? That's Newt Gingrich. Yeah, that's who that is. It doesn't look like anybody in that group is stepping in front of a bullet. What about the guy next to Newt? He looks like he might be. Is that a Secret Service now? Yeah, it might look like that, but there's nobody like, and I don't know what it looks like in front of him. There. Who's that, Clinton? So this is guy's got to run with, with, this guy's running with a walkie-talkie, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be like, you, you think got, listen, you got a treadmill it for four years. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I just feel like it's a lot of work. Uh, hold on. I, just, I want to see some other photos. If we can. Of presidents running. Oh, here, here. Go to a. See, that. That. That's the same guy with that walkie talkie. But this look, uh, this looks like more of like a oh, it's like a something. Uh, go is that is that Obama doing flies like down right here? What's your take on this? I mean, I know you can't really see it, but yeah. I don't know. I I, yeah. I I think there should be a little bit more of a physical fitness aspect to the presidency than we've seen in the past. Yeah, not much, you know, just like basic walking, you know, would be nice. We got to go younger with the president, no matter what your political party is, I'm not... Yeah, I, I, I believe so. Just, I think it, you need a younger vibe in there. You need like a... Wow. Is that, is that, whoa. Is that, uh, yeah, that's Carter. You don't look good there, bro. I, and he's I, younger I want, than our president now. Yeah, I don't want to see my president in that in that in that condition you know while we're showing stuff up here can i can i switch and yeah. get your take on something newsy yeah we, we could we get a little patrick can, can you pull up that uh that thing i sent you from um the, the connecticut to the vatican that we were discussing okay check this out bro Long story short, there's a church in connecticut and they were doling out the body of christ one day you know the wafers yeah, yeah. And the priest and the priest, when he went to start to dole him out, he immediately realized he didn't have enough wafers, body of Christ, in the cup for all the people that were lined up. Um, and there was witnesses right next to him that realized that too. Guy turns back around a few seconds later, and now the cup is filled with wafers, and nobody can explain how the body mm. of Christ got into the cup. And there was witnesses, and it's gotten to the point where it's been sent to the Vatican 
to be further investigated this story via the witnesses and everything else to determine <laughs> if it was a miracle and then the vatican okay. decides if it was in fact a miracle because they decide okay. what you okay. take bro do you believe in miracles well this is what the i saying jesus talk. filled the cup god filled the cup because he knew more people needed it well this i brings... needed god never filled go ahead <laughs> What did you just say? There's a lot of things I've needed God never filled, like my bank account. <laughs> you know, like this cup out of everything in the whole world. The cup from the fucking church in Connecticut. Okay, with the cup. <laughs> All right. Here, here, here's my question. Yeah, yeah. The wafer. Right. The body of Christ wafer. Mm -hmm. Are they ordering <clears throat> that? Is every church in the world ordering the wafer? from the vatican are they producing this shit or is there a company locally that produces this wafer uh, my uh, my question is is the wafer the same in fredonia than it is right. here in los angeles or do you go to like Mon montana and get the wafer and go oh it's a good little tang here here look uh, at this now bro I'm, wait, hold on, hold on you were, wait, wait, wait. You're in the hamptons <laughs> Yeah. You had a party, you meet a guy at the party, another guy, you know, there's a Hamptons, all these people with a lot of money, and you get to talking, and then someone goes, you know what that was? You go, no. You know the church wafer? He owns the company that makes the church wafers for 95% of the churches in America. Okay. Oh, yeah, they got they got a couple factories, they just make church wafers all day, right? Is there like a guy, it's the CEO of the, the church fucking wafer company. <laughs> what I don't know. Cool? I, I, I don't know, but like... Apparently, you could buy. We just saw you could buy the body of Christ wafers online, right? Now, what's your take yeah. on this? What's your take on this? <laughs> the show. I don't know where we're going with this. <laughs> well, bro, bro, what if, you, what if you buy a little body of Christ? You got it at the house, right? Yeah, yeah, right? I'm with you. And, yeah, and you know, you got, pe you got people over, right? And 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 you put out a little cheese plate, and within the crackers you got a little body of Christ wafers. And is it appropriate? Do you go oh, put a little brie on the body of Christ wafer? It's just fucking beautiful. It's good. Can, can you, know, you yeah. serve the body of Christ as a casual appetizer at a party to a Jew? Oh. <laughs> Like if they accidentally a Jewish person bit into it, and then you're like, "That was the body of Christ." <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> you can celebrate Christmas now, dude. <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> no, you bring up a really good question because why else are you selling them for at home? Why is there an at home kit? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Well, yeah, it comes 25, 25 waf wafers in, in a box, right? So are you handing this shit out when people come over? You know, if people come to the door, you're like, the body, and you and you lay one in their, on their tongue, and then they go to a pool party? What the fuck are you having wafers oh, at the house God. for? That's what I want to know. Can you buy this shit on Amazon, or is that a religious site? <clears throat> this site Do is you called think... christianbook.com. It's, it's uh, church supplies. Church supplies. So again, like a Costco, if you can prove you're a priest, do you get a discount on the wafers when you order? <laughs> right? And here's my last question. Halloween, if you're doling out, people come and you're giving them a church wafer, do you think a parent will have a problem with, with that? If if it got back to the parents that, you know, one well, house they were giving you church wafers, body of Christ. Well, uh, what do we got? Okay, you could get you could get oh, uh, I like you could the get, white ones. Yeah, you get with the cross on it. Oh, that's nice, dude! Christmas Eve, you put one of those next to everybody, <sighs> right on your dinner plate, right before dinner. We're all gonna pop that and toast. <laughs> oh wow, I like that. Oh, little olive bro. oil right on that little my Greek <laughs> olive oil right on the fucking top of that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, man. Oh, bro. This we is unbelievable. But being too funny is a writer's strike. We shouldn't be being this funny right now, guys. <laughs> this is like. <laughs>
Oh. So I don't know. I don't know where we're resonating here with the audience. We we went from we went we go from believe- president to, to church wafers. Right. I mean, it's. Do you believe in miracles, though? To to, to get back to the original question, yeah, do you believe this? I, you don't think anybody filled the cup doing that without anybody knowing? You know, like an altar boy could have came by and sprinkled a little in there and le- and left, and then like, oh my God, it's a miracle! But it was really Johnny. <laughs> right. You know, like come on. It, it apparently it was never out of his hands, the priest to begin with. But but I'm right there with you. You all you didn't notice them. They were in there. This this is ridiculous. Ridiculous to think we're gonna go to the Vatican with this. Come on, guy. Okay, well here, here's another take on that. Why are miracles what? never like overly abundant? What I'm saying is, if he's looking down and he notices he's got 90 more people and he's got five wafers, why doesn't right. he look back down and the thing is overflowing and there's wafers on the carpet? He's like, oh, like yeah. like why isn't it? Why is it no one else is seeing this? Right. Right. I hear you. Why is it such a small, little, minuscule thing, yeah. right? Like, what's the lake uh, by Vegas with the Hoover Dam that was drying up? The big yeah, fucking know, lake. But, uh, yeah. Mead. Lake Mead. Mead. Remember Lake yeah, yeah. Mead? Like, you're like, how come we're not waking up one day and that thing's just filled to the rim with fucking beautiful <laughs> fish and everything, right? <laughs> Instead, it's some bullshit cup in Connecticut. has got a few more wafers in them that you can get 25 anyway in a pack from Amazon. So, like, I'm right there with you, bro. It's yeah, not a I, real I, miracle. I, I want public miracles. Like, Me like too. Bigger miracles rather than so-and-so was dying, he had cancer, and he came back to life or whatever. Yeah, that happens Man. kind of in a, in a small contained area. I want, like you're saying, there's there's a drought in India, right? And then pff, next thing you know, it's there's floods. You know, like I, I need to see a large scale miracle. Boom. I right. don't want to say, oh, there's four wafers. Now there's ten. Yeah, come on, you know. Yeah, I'm with you, and dude. I'm thinking. Listen, one second. When they go back, are they gonna test the wafers? Test all the wafers, right? Mm-hmm. And if it's a miracle, if they cut open the miracle wafers and go, nah, these are made out of wheat, and they they cut open the church wafers and these are made out of, uh, I don't know, semolina flour. Huh. Huh. Is there a difference in the wafer, or wow. is the miracle wafer the same wafer that they're passing out? Right, right. You bring up a wow. What if they do that? Dissect the wafer, and they're like, it's made of a material <laughs> that has never been identified on Earth ever before. <laughs> right? It's like Jesus dust. Gee, <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> then the question is, how many wafers do you got, and do you auction them off, and how much for a wafer? Man, this is what a cast. <laughs> <laughs> we're out there we're out there but oh man i don't know it's just the, the miracle thing i just, I, I don't know if i'm buying all that bro i, I mean a miracle to me plain lands in in <clears throat> in like washington dc putin gets off it with xi from china and like a, <laughs> uh, the other world leaders and there's tears in their eyes and, and everybody gets off and they hug. They're like, what have we been doing? This is fucking nuts. Let's all get along and make the world beautiful. Like that, that would be like goddamn John Lennon song coming to life right there, guy. Even, uh, I, I, I know, I, I need you to stay here. I, I, I wouldn't buy it, right? I, I, is the, the plane landing in the Hudson River, Sol, Sully? Remember when right. that plane landed on the yeah, Hudson River yeah. and everybody got off yeah. and everybody was okay? Is that a miracle? Yeah. Wow, bro. That might be, or, right? I mean, or is, that, it seems... or is that just skill? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I got to be honest, though. When that happened, I kind of thought that, like, you could do that anyway in a bind. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I... It's. It didn't seem that difficult for your average pilot. Like I feel like other pilots are like, I'm fortunate enough to never have been in that situation. But like any of us could have fucking landed that plane. It was like you know. Yeah, like, I, I wonder. A, yeah, I wonder. 
I wonder in the pilot community if they're all sitting around the the coffee machine at the airport going. You believe it? They're, 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 this this guy got a medal of honor for that. I, I, I did that in training. You know, like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, saying, right? I got a seaplane in the Adirondacks. I landed on the lake like every other fucking Wednesday. Go fishing with the friends. You know, this guy's doing it once and he's a hero. But um, I don't know. They, did you ever see that movie, Sully? Yeah. With they, Tom make Hanks. It, they make it. They do make it seem like that that plane should have broke apart, man. That's what I'm saying. Is there so a maybe hand right. God that just lands that and goes? And right. if he does, if God is interfering in that, why? Why is he interfering in that and not interfering in the nine eleven plane hitting the? You know, like yeah. When does God come in? Right, man. This is like metaphysical, bro. It really is. It's heavy. Even God, it's heavy. It, it's you like, what makes you? Go. What makes you what? So I want to ask Jesus someday when I get up there. I'm like, why you like this guy, but not that guy, that thing, but not this <laughs> thing? You know? And maybe he'll be like, I'll be honest. Sometimes I'm just literally taking a nap, and I wake up and the shit happens. I can't reverse it. Now, you know? <laughs> oh my god! So I had my buddies in this weekend. Oh and- yeah, yeah. You had you had a buddy trip uh, recently, yeah. I think maybe six to eight months ago, where you guys went yeah. fishing and whatnot. Yeah. These are guys, college friends of mine. I've known them for over thirty years. They all stayed with me. Really, really mellow weekend. Didn't want to do anything too crazy. And you know, it, it, it's just like with old friends, you just pick up where you left off. I mean, it's yeah, the, ripping each other to shreds. I mean, it's just thick skin you got to have to hang out with this yeah. group. Right. Um, went out to dinner. And um, I was in the pool with with them. And a buddy of mine took a photo of me in the pool. But I was facing the opposite way. So it was my back. Yeah. I, I didn't even recognize my own back when I saw the photo, like when we were just going right. through the phone. And I was yeah. like, I almost said, who's this? And I was like, whoa, that's me. Oh. Have you seen your back lately, bro? Like your back? No, not, not lately. Not so much, no. I mean, do you, once in a while. Do you think, yeah, no, but like, you think if I took a picture of your back and then just cut your head off and cut your waist off and just showed you a, a back, would you go, that's mine? Or or would you recognize your own back? Depends. If you put it up against like 20 other men backs, but like of similar weight, probably not. But, you know, if I'm hanging out with my high school buddies, the eight of us, probably be able to tell which back is mine. But I don't know. I mean. Well, like, why? What was the what's the problem? What was wrong with your back? I don't, I don't know. It it, it looked like fifty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the back I remember. Because I mean, how many times do you actually see your own back in in a full shot? You might see it if you're looking in the mirror or whatnot, but you don't necessarily see it in a kind of like a full. You know, I was like, right. whoa. Wow, bro. I mean, you used to be able to see like, like maybe some ribs, a little bit of rib. I just you just saw like again like two holes <laughs> near my armpits, like indentations. You know, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. And I was like, when, when did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I feel like. The important thing is you're still, if you wanted to make it not look like that, you're always a month, a month and a half away. You Are know? you, though? It's when you... Are you? I think I so. Mean, it... I think so. For now. You don't think so? <laughs> what about when you do that? When you do that and you look in the mirror, you still got all the muscles like this. Nah, I don't got it. My muscle mass is completely uh, gone. And it's, uh, it's, it's sad to see the deterioration of a, of a, of a male body. Over the course of I don't know five 
I gonna say five years. Uh, but anyway, we're hanging out. We're we're drinking, and and this is where I I noticed that we we part ways, my friends and I, at least two of them. We go out to dinner. It's an Italian dinner. The reservation's at eight o'clock. We're gonna sit. We're gonna have a you know, whatever. By the way, one of them still drinking vodka Red Bull. You got this friend where the drink they're drinking was the drink they were drinking in college, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I feel like you graduate as you get older. You graduate to certain alcohols that kind of like coincide with your age. At yeah. fifty, vodka Red Bull is like not not an option. Right. Are you no, on the same page? No. Yeah, I mean, the vodka's fine with, like, a nice seltzer or something like that, but a Red yeah, Bull, yeah. that's like, what, are you going to a rave later? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. So he's knocking back vodka Red Bulls, and at the end of the dinner, the, the, the two friends are like, where are we going next? And I want to get your take on this. Like, at 50, there is no next. There's just no. this. There's there's <laughs> one thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're right we we're gonna go re-park gonna drive somewhere else park again there is no so, next yes so i'm like all right there's like a bar we could walk to down the street we went to this place called Medeo. it's an italian restaurant on sunset and i you know this is how sad i am i had to call a buddy of mine to find out like where we should go because i don't know where to go right I'm right. not out and about. I'm not a night guy. Yeah. I'm like, hey, anywhere cool, 50-year-old men could go for a drink, you know, not loud. Right. You know, one of these. He goes, yeah, go yeah. down to Tower Bar down the street. There's a place called Tower Bar. So we walk down the street into this bar and no seats. You know, like everybody had a seat, so we end up sitting at the bar. And I'm, that's, that's like, I'm just a one-stop guy. Like when we go out in Florida, well, well, yeah, we'll go to dinner after the show. But there's not gonna be like where are we going now. Or do you no. think? Are you that guy? No, because what I'm thinking was, are they, were they staying on you at, at the compound? Yeah, at your house. Yeah, like we're all there to hang out together. This is what I don't get right. We're all there to hang out, be together. With, that's the point, but why wouldn't we go back to my house and have a nice nightcap overlooking L.A.? Like, it seems like what we're trying to find already exists where we're staying. That's that's my vibe. Right. Dinner, and then you come back to the house for like an after dinner drink, maybe a scotch, and you right. relax outside. That's it. We don't go to another <laughs> bar. Oh. And and the beauty of that too, going back is, everyone could just slide off when they want. If you want to have three more, I'm going to bed after one more. Look out at all L.A. and have three more if you want. That's fine, you know. But like, yeah, you you, you struggle. I used to even do that when I was younger. Why are we going to a bar to compete over the noise of everything in the bar if all we want to do is bullshit anyway? Let's just yeah. go somewhere else, play our own music, drink our own drink. I don't care. Yeah, well, and, yeah. and you know everybody's married in the group, but I, what I think, what I think they want to see is good-looking women, right? Not not to some, hit on some, just like a scenery, just the energy, scenery vibe. Some, yeah, yeah, some people like the energy. Yeah, I hear yeah, it's like, you see an attractive-looking woman that walks by, fine, right? But uh, my friends got a, a way of doing it which is a little uncomfortable it's almost like 70 construction site type vibe you know yeah like yeah yeah when yeah. a girl walks by it, there's a lot of this <laughs> you know, like th there's a follow with the head you know yeah. like i i don't know how you look at attractive women and i mean yeah we're married right. but you know I'm, I'm, I can, there's attractive women all right and sometimes you, you catch a glance right but you don't yeah. you don't do a fucking you know, you you don't clock them as they're walking. It's it's it, 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 it <clears throat> tends to get a little comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'll I'll be honest for the young kids because I know they use us sometimes as a reference point. Yeah, I don't 
even when I'm with guys that like do that, not only do they do the look, you ever seen them do the look in the comment too? Like, oh, they're buying the guys, your mom, like, you know, whatever they say, you know? <laughs> I don't, I don't ever say anything or do the look because I don't want anyone to think that for a second that like I, I have an unhappy marriage and I'm like <laughs> unhappy. And I ain't giving you that. I ain't giving you that. For all you know, I made love to my wife the second before I came here. Right now, you know? <laughs> I mean, I could I could like not can't can't stand my wife. If, I mean, that's not the case. But if I didn't, I'd still never let you know. I'd never let yeah. you know. <laughs> So, but other guys wear it right out on their sleeve, you know? I mean, I've had guys say to me, if I didn't have kids, I'll be married. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm just having a beer here. It's a barbecue. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? This is different. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny, man. That's funny. But, but yeah, you like we, that uh, too? Like you, like you, you ain't gonna let anyone know if you had a marital problem, right? Well, I mean, I do it in a comedic way, you know. Like we, like we come on the show, we share. Hey, yeah. does Jackie do this? Because oh, Lana yeah, does that. Yeah. You know, it, it's more comedic. It's it's not so much. And another thing I can't stand is when she <laughs> gets out of bed. You know, there's there's not there's none of that. You right. Know, like <laughs> yeah, like if you and your friends met a kid in a bar who's getting engaged, you're not the guys going. Don't do it. Don't do it. Save yourself. <laughs> like that shit. Oh, God, all that, right? <laughs> yeah, there's that always stuff. that guy in the group, and there's always a guy that's like, that. not not the guys I was hanging out with, but I, I've known guys or friends that, you, you ever have a guy that, that's still talking about sex? Like, oh. like, like. In a graphic way, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could yeah. be like a like a, a guy just got divorced, and he's showing you like pussy photos on his phone. Uh, you know, uh, that guy. Oh god! Like, he's like, you should see what I fucking clipped the other night. Clip, <laughs> bro. You're fi <laughs> you're fifty four years old. Clipped. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, man. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm not comfortable around. I, I I don't gravitate towards those kind of people to hang out with, man. Like yeah. like you know, in as there's comics that are kind of like that, you know, too. Oh that, yeah. Like uh, yeah, and that was never my like. I never like ever used comedy to try and get girls. But oh my god, that's funny. God, there's somebody was telling me a story about. God, I gotta find out that guy. You, you ever hear a funny story? You got to figure out where the hell it came from. I, who yeah, told me yeah. that? I got I to figure that out. Um, I, I, I got something that I... Uh, and we'll put this to bed. I bought these squirt guns, right? I gotta just tell you the price, just just to give you an idea of what kind of squirt gun this is. Right, the yeah. squirt gun is one hundred and seventy nine dollars. Right? Wow, wow, yeah. It's a water gun. Water gun. You gotta charge it. It's electric. You gotta charge the damn thing, right? Yeah. I bought it because I saw it online. I go, oh, this looks like a fun thing for the summer. Right? So I bought it. How you fill it is you click a button and it sucks water out of the pool. Right? So you just put it in the pool. And it looks like an AR weapon. I gave it I gave it to the kids, right? And they were playing with it, right? And they hit me in the ear. The left ear. Right. I think I have permanent hearing loss, bro. This thing is so powerful, right? right. It's not even safe. <laughs> yeah. You had mentioned that that you were gonna get into it, that it hit you. You said a few casts yeah. back, but you never got into it. No, no, no. We, got... we, we 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 whipped them out this this weekend. But do you ever you ever give somebody a squirt gun and, and they just don't know when to stop with it? Like oh, yeah. like they keep hitting you with it. Right? Like like it's like yeah. It's like it's over. Like, you know, hey, it's fun. And then and then it's like when it goes past the fun, like it's like, all right, now nah, just knock it off. You know, when it, it gets to a yeah. knock it off. 
Yeah, yeah. I I feel I'm really good at gauging people's annoyance level on something like that, right? I feel like I got a good like ah, like if you came by, right? I think I think I think the initial thing with a squirt gun is to hit somebody with it that's not expecting it. Maybe they're in their clothes. But this is how I did it. I did it with my mom. She wasn't in a bathing suit. She was in shorts. And I hit her from a from a reasonable distance, you know, not not too close, but just enough where it would get her shin wet. You know, just just and she, oh, what are you doing? And that was it, done. Just a little just a little ah, let me wake you up a little bit. But there was not a continuous like shot to the shoulder, <laughs> shot to the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I was get I was getting shot by this kid in in, in, in a swimming pool recently with a squirt gun, and he was and he was laughing while he was doing it. And I'm like, you know, like I'm like, yeah, that's funny. And he's like, yeah, no, I got you. I'm like, no, 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 no. and he's like, no, I'm getting you. And I was like, knock it off. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you yell? I did, but I made sure his parents weren't around. You ever do that? Yeah. You, ever, you ever yell at a kid, but you don't yell in front of the, you know, the parents. <laughs> you wait, you know, like I waited. His father right. went to go get a, a beer in the kitchen, and then I, you know, then I let the kid like knock it off, and then, <laughs> and then he just kind of walks away. On it, this guy is psychotic, right? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah yeah. Like I like I, to be the guy. I like to be the guy at a party with kids where other kids tell other kids. Don't squirt, right. or don't go up yeah. to him because he's got like a he's a loose cannon. But what you're what you're gonna find is this is what's happening now. Is I got a story that just happened two days ago about this yelling. Same thing. You, you're gonna be you're gonna yell, at, especially your son Caruso, in a certain way that like you're just used to yelling at him. You're his dad. But if you yelled at another child that same way, that child will be traumatized because they they're not being yelled at on that level in real life yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah. and it's gonna like here's exactly what happened a couple days ago we got this hammerhead swim club so you support them so they had an idea to raise money we have garage sales in town everybody's gonna get together with all their best stuff it's more communal anyway have a big garage sale it's gonna be on our property because we live right in the village they got the lemonade stand they got cotton candy one woman made donuts and it's all the proceeds go to the swim club it's a big fun sort of a day, right? And everyone's hanging out. And at one point, a couple of the kids were going in the house, they're friends with Sadie. And I, I just, I'm looking over, it's like halfway through the day, and I just see Sadie, and the other one's kind of already halfway up the stairs into the house. I go, Sadie, get your shoes off, get your shoes off. And then I see one of the kids has cleats on because they just came from a softball game. So I'm like saying, no, it's, tell, I, I, I yell to my kid about all the kids. I go, no cleats. And meanwhile, Sadie's not even wearing cleats, but the whole idea is no shoes, right? Then I see a pair of cleats come flying, thrown down. Someone had cleats on, they throw them down. Another child, right? So now all the cleats are off, and they're in my house. That's it. I go, no cleats. Get Sadie, no, come out with the shoes. No cleats. Oh. And that's it. So I go about, and I'm fine now. I go to do something else, and I hear a mom of one of the kids who was wearing cleats go, she calls her kids. And goes, forget it. Uh, they were going inside to use the restroom. Just, we'll, we're, we're leaving now anyway. We'll use the restroom at home. Let's go, let's go. Let's come on, everyone out, right? I'm like, well, is that? Right? But I was already like halfway down in my basement getting something. Then I come back upstairs and now I got Jackie going to me. What did you say to the kids? And then Sadie goes to me, Dad, you could be so mean. You don't have to be so mean. I go, what? Mean? I just said, get, get, get the cleats off. Yeah, but you were mean about it, and now they're up, they're upset. And then Jackie goes, Pete, you have to do so. So now I had to go out and go over to one of the children and say, hey, I'm sorry about the cleats. I just, I didn't want anyone's shoes on inside, you know? And my point is, that, bro, and then that child was like, oh, don't worry about it. But like, I guess, I guess I upset the apple cart. And I'm saying to Jackie, I go, I, I, I wasn't even mean to me. This is just me. It's just like how I am, you know? But... You're going to find, bro, your demeanor is like it's too harsh for the new world. And as your kids are around other kids and they see more of you, you're, you're not nice enough. We're not nice enough. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to 
I don't have to apologize. See, this is what upsets me about this story. I was my kid. Yeah. My kid. If they were in cleats, they wouldn't even be in your house in cleats. Yeah. Right. I would go if you're gonna go in the house, you take your cleats off. I don't like the fact that that kid was halfway up your stairs, running around in in spikes that he was that he was. At the, on the softball field with, you know what I'm saying? Where's that yeah. parent? That parent should be taken oh, aside. And, I gotta oh, be no, careful. No, no. I gotta, uh... Let me be careful. I'm going to tell you. This is not you talking. <laughs> I'm telling you, that parent needs to be more involved in their, in their, in their kids' footwear when it comes to other people's homes. All right. <clears throat> I tell my kid that you go at anyone's home off. Even if they say you could keep them on, Take them off. off. It's a test. Right. It's a test. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. No, we are a little more aggressive than the average father, yeah. I believe. You know, yeah. but I feel like, listen, I got yelled at by other kids' parents in the neighborhood. And right. I tell you what, that set me straight. If you get yelled right. at by another parent, it's a whole different psyche on the kid where, especially if he's not in a, I guarantee the way these parents are raising these kids nowadays, there's no yelling or nothing. It's it, There's a lot of bowing. I've noticed this recently. A lot of parents right. bowing. going, No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll get you. There's a, like a lot of like kowtowing to the kids' demands through bowing. Right. And I, we, we don't, we don't, at least, at least I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't play that game here at the house. No. <laughs> I feel okay. like I'm always correcting, like, yeah. even Lana was saying, you know, it's not, it's just, Parenting is, it shouldn't be always like, don't do, say this, say thank you, open. It, 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 I feel like it's a lot of that, right? Yeah, there's fun Tons. interjected in between that, but I feel like when my kid asks me, I want ice cream, I have to go, how do you ask? Right? Right. May I please have ice cream? I feel like I'm constantly doing this. Never ends, bro. Never ends. Never ends. I, we just got Sadie for her 10th birthday uh, a trampoline that I put together. Unbelievable. My father-in-law helped me. It took five hours. Couldn't believe it. Holy shit. Big fucking trampoline. Now, Sadie didn't know she was getting it. She wanted one so bad. We told her for years. We don't have the room for it. So she comes in the backyard, and my grand, her grandparents are there, Jackie's parents, and my and uncle's there. This is what she does, right? We have a blindfold that she takes it off. She looks at it and goes, Wow. Like that. She goes, wow. And then she runs to it like a fake run and gets in it. And she's like, I might not ever come out. Bro, took everything in me not to go in there, pull her off that and go, what the fuck was that? <laughs> right? So everybody, right? And then she, then she comes off and she's like, thank you. I love it, you know? But then when everybody left, me and Jackie were alone with her. I'm like, Sadie. Get it together. I go, what was what was your reaction? And then Jackie right away, boom. Yeah, Sadie, what what the hell was that? You're like looking at just a, wow. Yeah, and we're like, Sadie, you look at it, you go, you turn around, you thank your parents, you give them a hug, you're like, I love it. You, can I get in it? Then you wear I'm your dad gonna go get and I look at her, I go, You gotta be anyone around you, you can't be equal to people around here. You need to be so much sharper, so much brighter, and shine, all right? This shit, you're 10 now. What was that? Would me and your mom ever do that shit? And I feel so bad, but Jesus I'm fucking Christ. whipping this kid into shape, baby. You know? I feel bad, and then afterwards I hug her and I tell her, you know, and we only say that because we love you so goddamn much, you know? Yeah, no, I, but, I, I'm with you, bro. I mean, I, this, it seems like there's a lesson to be had at every turn, right? Every and turn. Whether it's, it's thank you or, you know, uh, you know, like Serafina last night, she goes, oh, this I didn't like. I don't know where this came from. And I don't know if she's picking this up at school. Sometimes I gotta feel like I gotta like reprogram after she heard something at school. She goes in front of my friends. She goes, I said, Serafina, can you please go get me a water? She goes, okay, dude. I go, what'd you say? <laughs> right? 
<laughs> the, 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 the mood for it. I go, what did you say to me? And she goes, oh, oh, oh. I go, it's dad or father. Where would you pick up dude at? Yeah. She's like, no, no, the, the so-and-so at school said to her father. I go, we, we, you are not so-and-so at school, right? It's dad or father here, okay? Now get me right. a fucking water. <laughs> <laughs> I know that fuck. I did that once with my dad. I called a man or big guy. And he goes, it's not big guy. It's dad, <laughs> all right? Yeah. I'm dad. I was like, wow. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is phenomenal. And it never stops. I love never it. Stops. Never stops. Never stops. You cannot. It's relentless. My mother-in-law goes, well, she's just excited and showing her excitement. No, I'm showing her how you show excitement. All right? <laughs> I'm going to show her how you do everything. So you're not an asshole when you're 18. That's why. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's like, we're doing it for society, bro. If you're going to have a child and bring him into society, yeah. it's your responsibility to present an 18-year-old that, you know, look at this. Yeah. Look at the finished product. I've been working on this for 18 years. It's almost like you're, it's almost like you're redoing a car, right? Yes. And then you're pulling it out of the driveway after 18 years going, you know how much work I had to do? to get this paint color the way it is and the tires and it, that's what it's like a kid it's like when they go off to college it should be thank you daddy Man. thank you mommy i love you here's your water it, 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 it's it's got to be a little bit it's got to be polished that's it it's you're dropping the kid off for college like going here you dot the I's and cross the T's, but I I did all the hard work, right? And you backpedal out of the car. And if you did it right, your kid is calling mom or leaving mom a message before mom even gets home from dropping you off at the college yeah. to say how lucky you were to have a mother like that. Don't worry about me, your mother. That's how I feel. I want to drop the kid off at college at 18. <sighs> Not Rehab. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to move the kid into a dorm, not downstairs <laughs> in the renovated basement for your community college run that we all pretend is going to lead to a bigger college, but it's not. And we're not admitting it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm with you, bro. All right, bro. We got we got to hit the road. Uh, once again, huh. thank you for uh, listening to Pete and Sebastian show. We're over at Patreon at patreon.com, Pete and Sebastian. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Thanks for the hang. We are Good out. Day.